Blackjack. IXE, Brooke Langbecker, jump into the combination. Brooke has had a uh, top show so far. And has been up in the placings in nearly every class she started in. This horse had a third here yesterday. Puts itself in contention today. Safely on the last. That's a clear round. 84.29, 84.29. No jumping penalties, no time penalties, and all clear. Final horse out into the arena. This is Amelia Douglas, and she is riding number 23 in the draw, number 32 in the catalogue. This is upper class Z, Amelia Douglas. Unfortunately, that is not what we wanted to see. Amelia Douglas and Upper Class Z parting company. The fall of horse or rider in the sport does unfortunately occur elimination. Well, the first round of jumping has been completed. We have six horses coming back into the jump-off round. Seven horses, in fact. And uh, first out will be David Cameron on Finch Farm Clifford. Jennifer Wood, Cassando B, Josh Collins and Cornell. Andrew Inglis, Anna Lilly, Isabel Stone and Lincoln, MVNZ. Fontaine Blue, VDL and Paul Brent. And then uh, Brooke Langbecker, Blackjack, IXE. Jump off course, well, we go 14 15, two new fences in this class. 14 15, 5, 6, 7, 10B, 10C, 11 and 12. Winner of the class will be the horse rider combination with the least number of penalties and the quickest time in the jump off round. Seven horses, seven riders, and just five placings. Who's going to get to the finish line first? Who's going to put the quickest time on the board? All will be unfolding for us here this afternoon. 
in our main arena for show jumping class number 865, the Group A Section 3 Jumping Competition. It's been a lot of fun exploring this island for the past three days because it's a really special place. Look at this. It's both magical and magnetic. Even the kids here say, look, we may have to go away to university or get a job or see the world, but we'll be back. And they do come back. I'll come back too. You should come here. It's probably Australia's best kept secret. To where we started. No, it's just us. We need to end this war. This goes beyond loyalty. This is about survival. Fresh Market Update is all about apples. And Jazz are back in season. Ideal growing weather has produced juicy fruit that's full of flavour. It's also a great time for candy. They've got delicious flavour that's a nice balance of sweet and tangy. And expect to see Pink Lady in store in the next couple of weeks. They're sweet and crisp with beautiful colouring. That's this week's Fresh Market Update brought to you by Woolworths. What's the best thing in the barbecue? Crawl skewers. <laughs> Shish kebab. Satay skewers. Lamb kofta. No way, yakitori. Um, aren't they all just meat on a stick? What? My barbecue? Goes best with a Coke. Straight out of the esky. Only with a Coke. This dog has not been fed on a science-focused diet. At seven years old, his human equivalent would be a 57-year-old. Advance is scientifically proven to support your pet's health. nothing more important than time with family. That's why we're Steglers for quality time. At SASH, the Small Animal Specialist Hospital, we believe that every member of your family deserves the best specialist medical care available. Visit sashvets.com today. Chocolate Factory is now playing in Sydney. Directed by Tony Award winner Jack O'Brien, the Sunday Telegraph called it solid gold. Step inside a world of pure imagination. Buy your golden tickets now. Thank you. 
all day. Well, first horse out into the jump off round. The course has been opened up with a number of fences being removed, deliberately so. That's to really allow these horses to roll on and go quick against the clock. Time allowed, 62 seconds. Winner of the class will be the horse rider combination with the least number of penalties and the quickest time in the jump off round, Dave Cameron. He's first out through the combination. Of 10B, 10C, two fences left to go. Turns back now, fence number 11. Nicely over that. He rolls on down to the final fence. Can he lead from the start? He needs to jump this clear. Dave Cameron safely over the last. Stops the clock. 54-1-5. 54-1-5. No jumping penalties. No time penalties. And all clear. Well, that's the benchmark. That's the score that needs to be beaten. As we welcome out now, next of our riders, this is Jennifer Wood. She is riding Cassando B. Well, next out into the arena, Jennifer Wood. She's riding Cassando B. She's all clear at this stage. Two fences left to go. Nicely over the Oxer. Time to beat 54.15. She comes down to the final fence. Has she done enough on the clock? Jennifer Wood safely over the last. 55.15. Second place, 55.15. And clear into second place. Well, next out into the arena, Josh Collins, and he's riding Cornell. So he starts the clock, 54.15, the time taken, just one second, the difference. Look at that, 55.15, 54.15 to the one one thousandth of a second.
So this open course is certainly leaving uh, certainly uh, an opportunity for these horses to really run on. Big open space, plenty of room for them to be able to really put the foot down. Two fences left to go. 54-1-5. Don't think he can quite get there. Maybe if he cut one out down to the last, but Josh plays it straight. He 180, sits out, takes the hold. Safely on the last fence. That's a clear round. That's a clear round at 55-0-0. One rail down. Lucky Phil's watching and I'm not. 55-0-0. Time was quick enough to put him into second place. He's actually quicker than I thought. But he did have that rail down at fence number five early on in the course. So 55 neat with four. We'll put him into third place as we welcome out now next of our riders. Well, next out into the arena, Andrew Inglis. He's riding a lily. If there's one guy you were going to say would have a crack in this class, it would be Andrew. He's here for a good time, not a long time, that's for sure. Nicely through the first part of the course. Three fences, four efforts left to go. Comes up to the combination. Two non-jumping strides. I really got just a little off the vertical. Stretched out over it. Maybe made him a little wide on the turn. Rolls on down to the final fence. Does he cut one out? Does he stay in? He rolls on down. Safely over the last. Check the time. Look at that. 49.72. 49.72. New leader in the competition. Well, next out into the arena, we welcome number 17 in the original draw. This is Isabella Stone riding Lincoln MVNZ. Special Class 584 Champion Show Hunter Galloway. A presentation we've all been looking forward to in front of the Martin and Angus stand. Our champion for the 2019 Sydney Royal Easter Show, catalogue 2165 EBL One Night in Paris, Elizabeth Taylor's nomination from Fitzroy Falls. Well, Paris uh, has been a wonderful partnership with Elizabeth Taylor and uh, previous wins include actually carrying around her brother Hunter Taylor to become reserve champion boy rider only two days ago I think it might have been yesterday actually and uh, EBL one night in Paris was also the winner of our show Hunter Galloway class not exceeding 15 hands I can tell you now that our reserve champion, show hunter Galloway, is catalogue 2149, National Velvet, Nina Stone and Riley Kent's nomination from Queensland.
Well, next out into the arena, we have Paul Brent riding Fontaine Blue VDL. Izzy Stone, 52.23 the time taken. Quick time. And four jumping, no time. A total of four. Putting her into fourth place at this stage. Paul Brent, all clear. Time to beat now, 49.72. That of Andrew Inglis. Fontaine Blue, very quick on its feet out here in the main arena. Nicely through the combination. Two fences left to go. 49.72. That's the time to beat. He's really going to have to run down to this final fence. Gets a little caught up over fence number 11. Gets away with it as he comes down to the final fence. Paul Brent safely on the last. Second place. 52.16. 52.16. So at second place. Which means that uh, David Cameron falls into third, Jen Wood into fourth, Isabella Stone into fifth. Now I'm in a dilemma. Two of my good mates uh, sitting, Izzy Stone sitting in fifth place. Another good friend in Brookie Langbecker. If Brooke can jump clear, she'll automatically go into the top five. Rail down. She needs to be quicker than 52.23 to win the class. All you need to do, Brooke Langbecker, is jump clear quicker than a 49.72. Who can win this class? Can she run down Andrew Inglis? Anna Lilly? She's 49.72. Brooke Langbecker from Bow Desert in southeast Queensland on course. Well, as EBL One Night in Paris makes uh, his way out of the ring, you can see that beautiful prize rug for champion show hunter Galloway, supported by the Evans family and Everlock Cedar windows and doors. Well, Brooke Langbecker comes down to the final fence. Oh, unfortunately, it falls at the last. 52.49, 52.49. Four jumping, no time, a total of four. A total of eight, in fact, with two rails down, so eight jumping penalties, 52.49. So, well done, Andrew Inglis, Anna Lilly takes the win, 49.72. Paul Brent in second place, David Cameron in third, Jennifer Wood in fourth, and fifth place going to Isabella Stone and Lincoln in 